Yay, we're in the car! Hi, I'm Sarah. I have a gypsy soul and an overwhelming urge to see the world. This is my sister Megan and my best friend Kelly. Join us on our journey, Discovering America. Welcome to Discovering America and parts of Africa. Today we're in Battle Creek for the annual cereal festival of the Longest Breakfast Table. While we're here, we're also going to check out the Binder Park Zoo and the John Harry Kellogg Discovery Center. Battle Creek has a rich history including large contributions to the Underground Railroad, health, and of course, cereal. Good morning, explorers! Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? So what better way to start your day than here in Battle Creek, Cereal City, USA? Home of the longest breakfast table. Munches of General Mills. You can get yourself kicked out of here with talk like that. No, it's right there. It's on the table. Oh, look at you. You were right. Oh, gosh. What do I want? Oh, there's so many choices. I know, right? Do I want Fruit Loops or Mini Wheats? And a Pop Tart, clearly. I might have to try, try some strawberry honeycomb. I'm going to try this because it looks very interesting. Now where'd the milk guys go? Hey there's a kid. Can we get some milk? Yep. Thank you. You tried to get away, it didn't work. I did. <laughs> So we're at the longest breakfast table and we just got delicious cereal and now we're gonna eat it and I'm not really awake but enjoy. Milk station! Where did everyone get juice? We keep seeing juice. Yeah, right? I just want some and orange juice, and we can't find the orange juice. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you have orange juice? Oh, I found it! It's over here! Oh, we found juice! Yeah. Since this weekend's all about breakfast, we thought we'd check out Sweetwater's Donut Millie. This is one of three Sweetwater's family-owned locations, and they've been featured on Best Donuts in America list by MSN and AOL. Our grandparents owning a donut shop, so mm -hmm. we're pretty harsh critics when it comes to donuts. Indeed. Sweetwaters is one of the few places that I actually enjoy donuts from mm -hmm. because they make them all old-fashioned and homemade like our grandparents did. And actually walking inside, it smelled like my grandparents' bakery. It was very delicious and nostalgic and it was wonderful. Adventures! So... We just got out of Sweetwater's Donut Mill and realized I locked my keys in my car. So Good we're going. Thanks, bro. So we're chilling in the parking lot, waiting for the tow truck guy or the to come up in my car. And I don't know, on the phone they said it'd be an hour and 15 minutes, but I really hope it's not that long. Maybe. We'll keep you updated. Maybe. Because Kelly's waiting for us at the zoo. Yes. We didn't kill her. Yay! Okay, bye. Yay, we're in the car! Yay. 
Shout out to Comark's Auto Service. I think they're the ones that came and rescued us. Don't know. Thanks, guys. You're awesome. Okay, now we're off to the zoo. Bye. That was delicious. Now we're ready to head into the Binder Park Zoo to learn about tons of great animals. Binder Park Zoo opened in 1975. It was on 83 acres of the Charles Binder Park and was leased for a dollar. Today, the Binder Park has grown to over 433 acres with over 600 different animals. <laughs> We're finally taking Megan home. <laughs> taking this like ranger challenge quiz thing. And now we all have to do pull-ups. Oh my gosh. I was gonna say, I don't think I can even do one. Right? <laughs> the best way to do this. Okay, no. I'm I think it's... If you get off the ground. <laughs> there. I'm out. I don't wanna like look like a wimp on the internet. No man, I did. Too it's good. cool. <laughs> This doesn't seem very sturdy. <laughs> Do it. I feel like this is gonna end, Just jump. <laughs> there we go. One. Two. Oh my god, I tried to see if I couldn't do it. Al's Al. Al doing a model pose right now. Alan, look at me. Al, how old are you? John Harvey Kellogg was an American medical doctor in Battle Creek, Michigan. He opened a sanitarium focusing on holistic methods with a particular focus on nutrition, enemas, and exercise. Kellogg was an advocate of vegetarianism. He is best known for the invention of the breakfast cereal known as Corn Flakes with his brother William Keith Kellogg, founder of the Kellogg Company that is well known today. This was to help with digestion. They used to call it fat ladies thing. They would 
get in and lean on it. But this is the belt to mount them and it's supposed to shake off your back. I don't know if it ever did or not, but then of course we have the roller thing here too. And you could sit on that and that was to help to break up the fat in your buttocks. And so we put the pen over the fence. I kind of like this vibration. It helps when you're nervous. Who would like to be my guinea pig today? Okay, you ready? You can sing it. <laughs> you think this is good? Wait till you get to this one. This was designed for might try it, but I'm kind of scared. Pregnant lady. Ready to be shaken? Here we go. This is my favorite thing here. I love this little chair. And you just swing up your hips. Cornflakes. Some woman broke her teeth on some toast. So Dr. Kellogg invented some flakes that she could eat with his brother. He wasn't really interested in the cereal business, so his brother bought that from him and took it over. And that is the Kellogg cereal we have today. I think we found out what went wrong earlier when we couldn't find our way here. See? That stop sign over there. That's where we were stopped. And then look, there's this nice patch of grass. So the road stops and you can't go through. And apparently my GPS wasn't aware of that. Finally, we're gonna end our weekend by stopping at Wirtz Family Popcorn. Opened just a few months ago by a friend of mine and his wife. They have some awesome gourmet popcorn and tons of creative flavors. He let us try a bunch of flavors and they weren't making any popcorn, so I was kind of bummed about that. I got some Monster Pop, like a grape coating with like a cotton candy stuff and nerds. I think in total, that one's my favorite. Which one is your favorite, Kelly? Monster Pop. It's time again for Discovering America's MVP of the Week. This week, we have multiple MVPs. Our first MVP of the week is this guy for taking a picture of Megan and Sarah with some of the Kellogg's characters. And this guy was hilarious. Our next MVP of the week is this guy. As we water, Sarah locked her keys in her car, which is something she does fairly often. And this guy came and unlocked it for us so we could continue our adventure. And our last MVP of the week is our very own Megan! Because, I don't know if you guys know this, but since Megan was a little kid, she's had this, like, hardcore fear of people in costumes. This week, she voluntarily took a picture with the Kellogg's dudes. So, good job, Megan. You're awesome. If you are one of our MVPs of the week, email us at discoveringamerica2015 at gmail.com and we will send you some cool prizes from Discovering America. Next time on Discovering America. I'm a ridiculous person. Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> okay, so we're pretty. Er, mm, mm, oh, I see him. He's sticking his finger up his butt. I know the feels, bro. <laughs> So I went first, <laughs> and then they were like, haha, we're not doing it. <laughs> we are going to take 
a tram to Africa. Someone's gonna jump out at you, Mom. 